What are you doing locking up trendy presenters in basements? I promise I won't keep people locked in the basement anymore. But I'm going to release them right now with the release button that I keep here. Convenient. I know, it's conveniently placed just in case that sort of thing happens again. OK, so right now, here is some Friday download. Loads of trendy presenters learning. You can learn lots of interest in trendy things. So have a great time. I'm going to tell him about locking people in rooms. We'll see you very shortly. Don't do it. Mm. I'm Georgia, I have nine cousins and they're all boys. Hello everyone, I'm Tiger and when I was younger I wanted to be an ice cream man. Hi, I'm Richard and I love playing acoustic guitars. Hi guys, I'm Dion and I'm petrified of my kids. Hello, I'm Aidan and I'm scared of bowling shoes. Hello, I'm Kellogg and I support Manchester City. <laughs> this is Friday Download everyone. This is your instant guide to the week ahead. We'll be telling you about a load of cool stuff like these. Woo! What is it? These are new what sleeping are bags. That are like a bodysuit. That is not a sleeper. I can't find it. Is. This. For your leg. <laughs> I don't think yellow's my colour. I'll wear it as a jacket. Oh, like I'm it. too big for mine. Wait, you're wearing a blue one. I prefer, I prefer a black one. I like it. Oh. I just, oh, oh. Ah. I'm, I'm going to rock it like this, I think. Like I put my hands through here. What, you kind of go on out. So these are the muzzle bags, and here is what's coming up in today's show. Danny Harmer dishes out some fashionable advice in Style Download. Micro Scooter King Rob Wass wheels out some very cool tricks in Weekend Download. We've got the pick of the best games, TV and movies. You're on the Dawn Treader, the finest ship in Narnia's Navy. <laughs> and Chipmunk will be here to perform his latest single in our Music Download. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Dance Download. Now today I'm going to teach you one move which you're going to see in this routine now. Dirty bit. Dirty bit. So this week we're going to learn one move which you just saw and it's called the wave. You might recognise it and it looks like this. Now I'll use it a lot in your routines and I'm going to teach all you how to do it. People at home and my man Richard, come on. So what is it? Like, right. What's the move called? It's called the wave. The wave. Right, talk me through it really, really slowly. Right. Stand still. Right. Both your hands shoulder height. What we're going to do is we're going to do it in stages first. All right, stages. Right. Go really slow. So I will. I will. Just for it. you, I'll go slow. Just okay, right. wicked. Knuckles, knuckles, wrist, elbow, shoulder, chest. Now, what we're going to do for this arm, it's going to be the same move, but outward, so it's the opposite. Okay. So here, when we went wrist, elbow, shoulder, we're going to go Done. shoulder, then elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle. So okay. do you see the pattern going on here? Right. So is it good to like practice in front of a mirror? Yeah, definitely. It's the best place to do it in front of. Okay. Because you can see what you're doing. So this move you can put into any routine. Any routine you want. I wicked. do. I put it into all my routines. It's a move okay. that you'll see in every one I do. All right, wicked. So, right. so let's we'll go, go through it, it one again. more time. Yeah. Arms out. Knuckles. Knuckles. Wrist. Elbow. Shoulder. Chest. Shoulder. Elbow. Wrist. Knuckles. Knuckles. Right, one more time for me. I saw, I saw you. <laughs> it's really bad. Right, right, let's go again. Knuckles, knuckles, wrist, elbow, shoulder, it's chest. The elbow, it's, the, it's elbow. the elbow. Just run, run right. through that elbow. To do bit. the elbow, right, okay. when you get to here, you lift, you turn your arms slightly, it's the trick to it, and put your elbow up in the air as if you're hitting, like, we're well, not hitting somebody, hitting the air. Remember to hit air. So you're hitting air. And as you do this, you put your wrist still facing that way. Exactly like that. Right, so what you've got to do is just get it fluent so you're constantly doing that. 
Yeah. So if you find any difficult with this part, all you need to do is keep going over this constantly and eventually. So it's better to do it in stages. From stages and then do more stage, add it onto it, and eventually and make it'll it will look fluent and, and look exactly like a wave. Okay. Right. Do you want to go to the music? Yeah, let's try it to the music. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it to the music. Okay. And I'm going to count you in when the mood's going to come in. Okay. We'll do it four times in the routine, all right? Okay. Is all it right. It's coming up fast, though, right? It is going to come up fast, so make sure you're ready. Okay. So you're ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are all you ready? Yeah! And everyone at home got to be ready as well. So, ready? Dirty bit. Coming up in a minute. Now. Well done. If you missed that bit, the slow is coming up, so don't worry. Now. Well done if you've got it, but if you haven't, there's loads, don't worry. Now. Well done. One more coming up. So if you missed all the rest of them, it's coming now. Put one in more. One more in. You do one more in it, yeah? Yeah, okay. Right. Now. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. There we go. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Right. Sorry, man. So, well done to Richard. Well done to all you who've got it, and well done to the people at home. Just remember, if you haven't got it first time, keep practicing because practice makes perfect. Dance down low, complete. This is the style download where we help one of you with your style dilemmas. This week, the brilliant Danny Harmer has been out and about. Let's see what she's been up to. Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to Style Download. Today, I'm in deepest Wokingham to meet a nine-year-old girl who, when it comes to fashion, is completely helpless. I am Jessica, and I'm nine years old. I live with my mum, my cat Mindy, and my guinea pig chocolate. I have loads of clothes because I love shopping and also because I get loads of hand-me-downs. Jessica, Jessica, I've got a dress for you, Hello. Jessica. Since my school's got no uniform, it, like, it makes it a lot harder for me to actually find clothes to wear to school. She loves fashion and she tries very hard um, to get the latest looks, but sometimes she doesn't quite pull it off. I love my clothes, but I wish I could have more ideas to create outfits and wear more stuff. She needs restyling fast. Colour clashes, mismatching outfits. Is she serious? She needs my help badly. She needs a style download. Hello. Hey, I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. You're right, Jessica. <laughs> I love your room, by the way. Thank you. Very cool. Right. I hear that you've got tons and tons and tons of clothes, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, loads. Too many. So tell me, where did all of your clothes come from? Well, most of them are from shops and some of them are hand me downs. You don't know what to do with no them. No idea, please. Okay. Maybe I could help you, yeah? Please. <laughs> cool, where should we start? Definitely wardrobe. Wardrobe, right. Right, let's go. Whoa, it is crazy in there. She has got tons and tons and tons of clothes. Loads of hand-me-downs, lucky girl. But the thing is, she has no idea what to do with them. So we're going to sort out three looks and show them off to her friends and mum downstairs. Right, I've got loads more to do. Right, I think what we should do is make a good part and a bad part. Okay, that's right. this. More clothes. This one's yes. Very cool, very rock and roll. I like the way it zips up to the side. <laughs> What's always good is if you've got a nice little pattern number is to have a nice little block colour to go over the top. Now, I was just thinking about this dress and I think it would go great with a belt, but if you haven't got a belt, what would be really cool is if you wrap a little bit of ribbon about it. Yeah. Now, you've got tons of amazing clothes, some that you've brought and some are hand-me-downs. I reckon if we combine the two and put your own little personal style on it, you'll look great. And I tell you what, if we dress you up, I think we should go and show you off downstairs. Hey, guys! Hi. Hi. Right, so you must be Jessica's friends, right? Yeah! I'm Danny, OK? So you're here to see an exclusive fashion show of Jessica's new look. Are you excited? Yeah! yeah. Okay, let's go get your seat. Down to the beat, people, hands up. Everybody in the place, stand up and jump. Yeah. 
looks really nice and she looks so different from what she usually wears. Fantastic. It was wonderful, I really liked it. Excellent! <laughs> So this look, we decided to go for a nice little casual number for maybe school or maybe going out shopping. We've gone for a red and blue check shirt and underneath a nice plain red t-shirt. Laying your clothes looks really cool too. So for this next look, we decided to go for a nice long printed maxi dress and also to finish it off, a block colour little cardigan over the top. A block colour is basically one colour, no patterns but I think it's perfect for a summer barbecue and I think she looks brilliant. And the final look we thought was perfect for a really cool school disco. We've got a lovely polka dot dress and we've decided to go for a little red ribbon around the waist for a nice little belt effect. I think she looks beautiful. <laughs> so guys, what did you think? Hopefully she's sort of learnt a few tips about how to be a little bit more organised and uh, what to put with what clothes. I think she looks absolutely fabulous and I think this is the start of a very stylish summer for Jessica. Meeting Danny was like the best thing in the world because um, you know, she was just really nice. She was like meeting a big sister or like a big cousin or an auntie or something. Oh, we've had a great day. We've enjoyed every minute. I'm so happy. The best day of my life. And Jessica is actually here with us in the audience wearing one of her outfits. She looks great. You look amazing. Right, style downloads complete. TV download. Now it's time for TV download. In this part, I'm going to be telling you what TV shows you should be watching next week after you've done your homework, not before. Now, the first show is So You Think You Can Dance. Has anyone watched this? Now, if you love dance, this is definitely the show for you. I love dance, I love all sorts. This show has got everything. It's got tap, contemporary, hip-hop, you know, a bit of this. Yeah, just busting my moves. Um, it's really great. You've got a variety of contestants, boys and girls, doing their own thing. And it's a joy to watch. Let's take a look at last week's show. Okay, the next show is Leonardo, which is on CBBC. This show is based on Leonardo da Vinci as a teenager. Now, some of you may know, Leonardo da Vinci was a very, very famous artist, and he drew the famous picture of the Mona Lisa, who looked, just looks like that. She, she was a girl. Um, but this is him as a teenager, and what life was like for him hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's a really factual show, it's really enjoyable to watch. You know, you've got all his friends, Marchiavelli, Lorenzo, and it's about him as a teenager doing his drawings and like making some inventions but at the same time people are trying to take his inventions and it's all about what he goes through in the town of Florence. Let's take a look. The next show is Doctor Who. I'm sure you all know this programme. It's a brilliant show. I mean, who doesn't want to be the Doctor? I know I do. I'd love his outfit. Now, this is the third episode and this is based on a pirate ship. Now, I want to be a pirate myself, so I'm definitely watching this. The TARDIS lands on a 17th century pirate ship and the pirate ship is being attacked by a mystical sea creature. Now, the crew don't know what to do, but the Doctor is at hand to save them. But first of all, he has to find out what's going on. Let's take a look at Doctor Who. Throw the gun down. The rest of you. On your knees. Amy, what are you doing? You're saving your life. OK with that, are you? Put down the sword. A sword could kill us all, girl. Yeah, thanks. That's actually why I'm pointing it at you. Now, the next programme is quite new, it's Sing If You Can. 
This is an hilarious show. It's two teams of three with a celebrity judging panel. The teams are celebrities. And each member of the team has to sing a really famous song while under pressure. So, for instance, one of them had to sing while being spun around and having knives thrown at them. Then, at the end, the losing team captain has to be plunged into a tank full of water. Their face is hilarious. Let's take a look. OK, in this challenge, I am the master of the Tuddle Switches. Um, let's come with it. Singing Mercy by Duffy. Give it up for Ben Richards and Jack Wood. Let's do this! And the final show is Sorry I've Got No Head. I'm sure you all know this because this is the start of the third series. It's such a funny show. It's a sketch show, but it's all adults playing different parts. So one of my favourites is the Vikings with the lightsabers. Vikings with lightsabers? Who would have... Hey everyone, welcome to the Games and Gadgets download. I'm here with Aidan and Georgia and they're helping me demonstrate fantastic pets. Fantastic Pets is a new game for the Xbox 360 Kinect, and as you can see, it's allowing Aiden to be the controller. He doesn't need a physical controller. So, what's what... it doing now? The, I don't know. The dog's just flying around a bit. Okay. <laughs> Basically, the general idea of Fantastic Pets is to create your dream pet and then have fun with it, like Aiden's doing now. So you can design every aspect of it. Yeah, you can give it different colour fur. You can give it wings, oh, horns, okay. even decide on its personality. Okay. So just give it a stroke, Aiden. I'm stroking it vigorously. Oh, you need to make make sure really your cute. your actions are sort of like big and sort of. It's, it's oh, definite. I've got loads of love hearts on my screen. I think the dog. Yeah. Oh, he's happy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look oh, at the happy cute. dog. Okay, anyway, well, what's helpful about the game is that, as you can see, Aiden is actually on the screen, and that, that allows him to get closer while he's sort of customising and playing with his dog. And um, if you'd like to demonstrate now, Aiden, we're going to play a game which involves you oh. getting a bit physical, so yes. good luck with that. We're going to do some sort of race, I think. So it's just the aim just to get to the end of the, end yes. of the race? Okay. There's, there's many challenges like this in the game okay. to do, so it's fun. It's quite a cute dog. Three, two... I made it myself. Well done. Go! Run! Run! Aiden! 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 Do you want Should to have a go? He probably won't pick me up. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Go, go, go. Go. Quick, go. Go, run, run, okay, run. Yeah, he does Georgia, 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 Georgia. Go as fast as you can. Georgia. Sit down, bitch. No. Oh, you're both I love it. I know. Oh. Right. Sorry, everyone. I've got... Hang on. I've got a bit of a call coming in. Hello? You right, Tiger? Hey, mate, how are you? I'm right, man, just just chilling on my phone watch. Where are you? Um, you know, just just chilling here and about in Spain. Moving. Spain? I'm on the move now, here I am. Where are you just going? Jumping on the plane. Hello, Tiger, I can see you. What? Hello. Kel! Here he is. Here's Kel. Anyway, just put, put down my phone. Just gonna end the call. What, what is this? These are the new Swap Rebel watches. I think they're fantastically cool. It's basically a cross between I've just got a new message. It's a cross between a watch, a phone, a camera, and an MP3 player. OK, so can you put your own music on it as well? Yeah, I'll show you how. Okay. Basically, this little bit of the strap which goes into the side okay. is a USB, which goes into your computer. So you can put videos and pictures and music onto it, and also you can put stuff onto your computer. Awesome. They come in green, orange, pink, black, and white. Which colour would you have? Pink. Pink, all the way. Green. White. I'd probably, I'd probably stick with the green one. I think it's it funky. It's quite cool. It's funky, isn't it? Very it's nice. different. It's good. 
Right, everyone, now it's time for Tiger versus, and for that, we're going to need Richard and Dion. <laughs> right, so Tiger versus is the part in our show where I'll be going up against one of these guys at one of my favourite games. Today we'll be playing Wii Party, a pogo stick game. So let's find out who I'm against. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kel? It's Kel. It's me. It's Kel over me. Yes. <laughs> right, OK, grab a controller. So we're playing on springtime. May the best man win. Yeah, I'm win, is it? <laughs> Wait, who, am I red? Oh, please, what's this head start? What are you doing? Just go! Jump! Why are we doing that? I don't even know which one I am. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> Come on! Yes, that's it! Come on! <laughs> Why does no one like me? <laughs> uh, go! <laughs> yes! Thank you! What's that? One nil. I, I, one nil. I, I let you win. One nil. Cheers for the support. That's what made me win. Thank you. Well, that is the games and gadgets download complete. Cheers, everyone. Hi, I'm Nessin, and I'm nine years old. And this is my joke. Why didn't the Skellington go to the boxing match? Because he had no guts. Right, now well, it's time for Fail Download, where I'm going to be showing you the complete fail of the week. Check out this clip from Total White Belt and this woman's epic fail. Magic on the ball should go a long way to making that happen. Come on. <laughs> oh, Maria, watch out for the motivator. Maria, that's the motivator. Oh, yeah, it was. I can still see the imprint of her bomb. Maria, you have been motivated. <laughs> See? She got a move on, didn't she? It does work. Look. One minute not going, next minute going. Really fast with her eyes shut. Fabulous. 75 quid that motivator cost. Money well spent. And Aiden, you can catch that next week on CBBC. Wow. I know. Will you be watching? Yes. If stuff like that happens every single episode, then. Definitely. Pretty much. Did you see the size of the mud impact onto the big red ball <laughs> as well. she bounced off and dropped? Well, that's all we have time for, so fail download complete. Hi, guys. I'm going to be telling you my five top picks for this current week. So now the first one is by Bruno Mars called The Lazy Song. Now it's his third single from his album, doo Wops and Hooligans. You may know him from his previous singles such as Grenade and Just The Way You Are. Do you guys like Bruno Mars? Yeah! yeah. So yeah, let's have a look at this song. Yeah. It's by Emily Osmott. It's called Love Sick. It's about robots falling in love. She's huge in the US right now and she's set to break the UK as well. Some of you may know her. She plays Lily in Hannah Montana. She's Miley's best friend and she's actually really good friends with Miley in real life. So let's have a look. You're the needle scratching on my vinyl, get, get gambling with that delicious thing. It takes two to dance for. You got me high, you got me low You make, 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 go, go, go out of control song is by Wretch32. Now, a big fact you should know about this is how to say his name. A lot of people call him Wretch32, but it's actually Wretch32. So if you ever see him, make sure you call him Wretch32. Now, this song, it's called Unorthodox. It's actually featured Example. Now, some of you may know him. He had a massive song last year called Kickstart. And let's have a look at the video. I got a good vibe. I ain't trying to be big with my hook lines. I had a feeling I could fly before I hopped on a plane and ran the sky. Yeah, I'm a good guy, and if you heard I'm a wife, it's a true lie. I'm hype, I don't do shy. I bark up every tree and I do buy. It's right, I'm only playing, but you all got freedom of speech, I'm only saying. I ain't got time for beef, I'm on the way. So the 
eighth day of the week's my only day. I sound sad, but I'm happy. And the only plan is to stay scattered. Yeah, I'm orthodox. I made the bar so I can be shot. We don't follow no crowd. is a new band called Encore. They're amazing. They're a trio. They're called Mark, Pierre and Cairo. They're really good looking too, so girls. Make sure you're looking at that. But no, they're amazing. They're really good. I actually saw them when they supported Jesse J and they even think they're better than JLS. So JLS, look out. Let's have a look. Now it feels like the end of time. Oh, I wish I, wish I could start from the beginning, beginning. <laughs> Then like a man, I'm the one to cheat I wish I could take away the feeling Can we get back love we used to have? Get back trust and lose the past Cause I just can't have us losing that No, no I used to be the one you turned to Aiden, what did you think of them for? Um, they were really, really, really good. I That's liked them. good. What was your favourite? Um, Unorthodox, one of my favourite songs of all time. Well, do you guys sure. agree with Aiden? Yeah. 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 yeah! Now, my final pick, I am really excited about this one, is Chipmunk in the Air. Yes. What do you think of Chipmunk? Absolutely love that song, Chipmunk, amazing. Brilliant. Yeah, well, we're actually really lucky because we've got him performing. So, everybody, shit mark within the air. What's good? What is everybody afraid of me for? Hey, see the edge I came through, I weather the storm. I'm playing with thunder and firing cells. They making it rain safe, we making it hell. You wanna visit fire, I, I, I throw you to hell. They can't see me, but they feel me, I'm basically prayer. Eh, 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 and you're looking at the holy ground. And this is what I wanna make, I don't care if it sells. Come put them in the air. So you can shine like me, yeah. In the air, in the air, put your lights up in the air. In this moment, come together. I wanna see you waving. Hey. Why you acting like you ain't heard of me? This is sick to you, but it's a verse to me. And everybody's getting deals now. Cause every label is one of me. Yeah, you can't replicate my style. I be on my high horse, and that's no route. Uh oh, and now you're looking at the holy grail. And this is what I wanna make, I don't care if it sells. Can't put them in the air. Everybody everywhere. So you can shine like me. Let's go. You can't F with me music Never chose this, it's destiny music This ain't love of music, it's confidence crush of music There ain't too many that I'm cool with I'm just trying to take it where no one else has took it Yes, I am a novelty, hence all the bookings Never touch the prop, but they smell what I'm cooking I did it without looking and you can't get a look Can't put them in the air
Hi, my name's Neve and I'm 10 and this is my joke. What do you do when you find a green alien? Wait until it's right. Hi everyone, this is Weekend Download. Now, Weekend Download is about skills that you can show your friends on the weekend. And let's have a look at this. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm 17 and I'm a pro <laughs> skit rider. I took up scooter riding about two years ago when a friend of mine managed to convince me to get on a scooter just to have a laugh for a bit. I rode more and more, got myself a scooter, and next thing I know I was taking it seriously. My scooter is made out of aluminium and steel. I chose this one because it's made to last, which is lucky because I perform punishing stunts on it almost daily. My scooter, like any scooter, has handlebars, two wheels, and a brake at the back. There are lots of scooters out there, but you can practice and you can learn basic tricks on almost any scooter. Scootering is quite a new sport. It's only been going for 10 or 11 years, which compared to BMX and skateboards isn't a long time. But really, it's only, it's only started getting big in the last about two years when suddenly there was a massive boom in scootering. It went from one or two kids on scooters down the skate park to like 50 on a Saturday. And my favorite style of scootering would be skate parks, which means big ramps, big, big core pipes, jump boxes, and go high. I suppose there is scooter lingo, stuff like if you've got a trick that you land every try, you'd say, oh, I've got that dialed. Or if a friend lands a new trick, you'd be like, oh, man, that was sick. Safety equipment is very important when riding a scooter because even with the amount of experience that I have, you're still always falling off. The safety equipment that I wear when I ride is some good knee pads, some good elbow pads, and a nice helmet, which looks good too. The best way to avoid accidents is to keep your eyes open. Keep a good lookout around you, make sure you're not in anyone's way and no one's in your way. And as long as you keep wearing your safety gear, like helmet and pads, you're going to be fine. This trick is called the Bunny Hop 180. This is because you compress in and you hop like a bunny and you do 180 degree spin which is half of a full rotation. This trick is good for beginners because it doesn't take that long to master but once you have it can help build the confidence for bigger and better tricks. The first step of the bunny up 180 is to compress in like a coil with your knees and your elbows and this will help you generate the power and the momentum to jump up high enough to get the 180 degree spin. Compressing your legs means you have to bend your knees and bend yourself in, bend your elbows as well, get your whole body compressed into it like a coil so that when you spring out, you get the most time for the trick. Step two of this trick is after you've compressed, you've got to look over your shoulder, jump up and twist your body to give you the spin. You're now going backwards. Once again, you've got to look over your shoulder, try and spot your landing, turn your bars a little bit, and then with your body, spin the other way to the way that you've just turned your bars. This will spin you and you'll roll away in the right direction. As a beginner, I would say it's probably a good idea to start riding your scooter just outside your house. So it's a good idea to learn to control your scooter and yourself somewhere quiet where there's not a lot of people first. This trick is called the bunny hop tail whip. It's called that because you've got to hop quite high like a bunny and kick the deck around nice and fast. And that's why it's called the tail whip. This trick is perfect for people who are new to scootering because it's a basic trick, it's not too complicated, and it's quite easy to learn. The first step to mastering this trick is to compress with your legs on your scooter so you can get a nice amount of power to hop up and get some good height and get good time to kick the deck around. The second step to landing this trick, you've got to hop, and with the tips of your toes, you've got to kick the deck around and try and spin it nice and quickly and try and get one foot on and probably leave your other foot off for balance and for confidence, just so that you don't fall over. After a while of landing this trick one-footed with your other foot for balance, you'll get more and more confident and you'll be able to land it with both feet and roll away smoothly. Stop the run, can't stop the run, can't stop the run.
but you can stop. As a beginner, I would say to get good at scootering, you've just got to practice as much as you can whenever you've got spare time. Because when I first started riding, I just thought it'd be something to have fun in the evenings with my friends with, but now it's turned into something that I'm known sort of all over the world, and I'd hope this could turn into a full time career, something that I could really live to do. And that's a bit what scooters can do. Now get outside and try it yourself. Hi everyone, this is Rob. Now Rob, if I've never ever scooted before, uh -huh. what is the basics? How do I start and how do I learn? I'd say the first thing you've got to do is you've got to decide how you're going to stand. Okay. A lot of people would like to stand on the scooter. They call it ski like this because your feet are together like on skis. Okay. Does it matter which foot you are? Because I, I usually leave with my left foot on everything it, I do. It's, that's all down to per personal preference. Some people like to leave with the left foot, some people like to leave with the right foot. Okay, so I'm going to be leading with my left foot today. Okay. So you're going to be standing sideways. Okay. If you're leading with that foot, the the best thing to do, the, the first trick you should learn to do really is, it's called a bunny hop. A and bunny basically hop. you just pull up with the bars and try and pull up with your, your feet as well, keep your feet on the deck. Okay. And you basically just jump. So is this the first trick? This is the first learn? trick that anybody should learn if they're ever trying to get on a scooter. Okay. Would, would you uh, show us one? I will show you a bunny hop. <laughs> Can you just show us that one more time, just just so I can get that? One more time. Yeah, one more so time. So you've got to pull up with the, the bars, and then you've got to pull up with your knees and try and keep your feet attached to the deck. OK. Woo! All right. Let's have a go at this. There you go. It's not bad for a first attempt, right? Not bad. But, I mean, if I keep practicing, you can get higher and higher. Practicing, you can get higher and higher. I mean. I know people who can do them like this high. And <laughs> wow. To me, I just, I could never do that. Well, we'll go out and show your friends. And that is Weekend Download Complete, everyone. Thank you very much. Just for laughs. Hello, everyone, and this is Just for Laughs. I'm going to be showing you a funny trick to show your mates and impress them with. Now, I'll tell you something. I have been so stressed today that... <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, guys, just my neck. Guys, I'm joking. This is known as the neck cracker. OK, so for this trick, what you're going to need is just a plain plastic bottle. Make sure it has nothing in it so it doesn't, like, fall out down your shirt. So it's got to be empty. Now, all you're doing, the action that you're doing is with one hand, you're just squeezing it like that. So it makes a really good sound. OK, then once you've got that, make sure you can do it with one hand, get a really good sound. Your other hand's going to be tilting your neck so it's more realistic. Now, to hide it, you're going to put it down the back of your T-shirt. So, can you see it, anyone? Hang on, let me just adjust myself. So, can anyone see it? Bye. There we are. Now, it's all about the bit before you do it. You've got to act, you've got to be really dramatic, really, really feel tense, just be like, guys, guys, my, my back, my neck. Just sorry. Oh, there we go. Now, so that will impress all your friends and they will think it's really disgusting. Just for last download, complete. Now it's time for the music tribute download, where each week we'll be showing your versions of some classic pop videos. This week it's Willow Smith's Whip My Hair. Here's how she does it. Here's how you do it.
my jack back and forth. I rock my jack. <coughs> if you want to get involved, check out our website for details. Music tribute download complete. Hey everyone, so this is Hot or Not, and first up, Richard's got his Hot or Not. Okay, um, my Hot or Not is ripped jeans. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. That's hot. I, I Depends see. how ripped they are. Yeah, and how right, much they are. Right, are we talking about ripped, like all the way down, or just like on the knee? No, like, I mean, I mean a couple of rips here and there. Oh, I think that's hot. Oh, I, I think that's yeah. hot. This side, I'm on this side. I'm on this side. No, on this side. Hot. this is hot. This is hot. This is hot. No, this is hot. hot. But then yeah, get, if you like ripped it all the way down, it'd be so annoying. The only thing it is, would... if they're ripped, after a while, the rips too sometimes get bigger true. and you end up with no kneecaps That's in your true. jeans. <laughs> you <just look> weird. <laughs> that is true. Some people buy jeans and make rips in them. Yeah, they do. I don't okay, like hot. Because rips are really hot. I'm going hot. Hot. Who's hot? hot. hot. Who's hot? I'm going to go not. I'm going to go not as well. We win. It's free two. Yeah. Boom. Hot. 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 That's hot. Okay. Right, fair enough. Right. Who's next? Right. I am the next subject. My hot or not is animals wearing clothes. Now, for no, me, that is no. definitely that, that is so hot. hot. That's, that is no, terrible. I love that. Why do you love that? That is that the hot. cutest thing. But it's not. the cutest <laughs> thing. Not. When you see like a little dog dressed like a chef or something. No, <laughs> but that is just ridiculous. Not hot. So not hot. hot. We win. We win. We win. Yeah, they win. So but I still think Are you hot. not? No, I'm hot. But oh my when God. When there's only two so of I'm on my own. No, no, I'm hot. No, what do you what think are you? I'm not hot. Yeah, you can yes, be here. Oh, I thought you said it was... I'm the only one who's not hot. Join us. This is oh, really okay. not hot today. No, I'm on my own. Which is where you been? OK, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Right, who's Tiger. Here? Tiger. Right, my one. Um, Open-toed shoes. Just no, generally. No, no, I hate them. Um, well, never. it's not, not it's so not. hot. Nice looking feet. Like yeah. So I'm on a yes. Not hot. Not hot. Everyone hates their own feet. Not hot. Yes. I like my feet. I think they're okay <laughs> in the summer, but you know, like people like in winter, they're like walking in their flip flops. I know because no, you can I get like boots weird. with open toes. Not hot. Just I'm so hard. So hot, I actually though. see someone in the snow wearing flip flops. That's, no, that's really bad. That's that's weird. Weird. If they're wearing socks with them flip flops as well. Oh, it that makes it worse. It makes it worse. I take some sandals. Sandals and socks. Oh, we just like so. So wait, guys, is it a hot or not? I'm not hot. Hands up if you're not hot. Not hot. Oh man. You're oh, no, no, no. You're on your own. <laughs> what? He's not you're hot. Great. I'm not hot. Who? Oh, who's, oh. who's next? Who's next? Who's next? So who's mine next? is hair gel. Please, that's hot. 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 Do you know what? I'm on not hot for that. That's how? I don't like boys that How are you meant to style your hair? With gel, with gel. Do you mean? Do you mean wax as well? Like Kellogg. Oh, that is quite hard. I think. You look. If we're going, if we're going on Kellogg, you use a lot of hair gel, right? Not hot. Yeah. I use my hair gel. Are you saying it's not hot? Yeah. Or are you saying it's hot? Sweet. No, not hot. It's not hot. Are we basing it on Kellogg? Okay. No, we're not basing it on me. Yeah. All right, all right, then hot. hot. I'm saying it's hot. That's hot, yeah. Hot. 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 No. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Um, okay, I've got one. Um, saying lol. Lol. No. I'm gonna say okay. not hot. Well, uh, on a text. Oh. I tell you what, on it's a one text. Of... It's okay. No, it's not because right. I'll be there. I'll be going. Yeah. So when the conversation ends, if someone's like, all right, okay. If it ends with okay, I'll just send back a text saying, lol. <laughs> okay, so that's just the sense of the meaning. Do you mean, mean, not hot? I mean, How many I mean, times do you actually saying... laugh out loud when you say lol? I know. The thing you is, because people actually say it, they're like, oh, lol. Oh, so you okay, don't not mean hot. what you actually no, say. No, I mean, not actually, it's not hot. I can't decide until you tell me, is it with, like, a text? No, I mean, I'm actually people saying it. I mean, speaking it. Not hot. I mean, I think it's not No, but see, it'll be two different answers if it's both. If I was to talk to you, right, and we were talking, and you said to me in front of me, and I never laughed, and you just went, lol. Because it means love. That is not hot. Exactly. Bring it over. Next up. <laughs> My hot or not, and I think it's um, it's just it's just come out actually, and it is Shrek the Musical. <gasps> oh. 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 That is. Oh. Oh. Shrek the Musical, that's just out in the West End. So what are we feeling about that? We haven't seen it. So. No, but if we haven't seen it, but just a general... Imagine it. Imagine I think it. it's probably quite... I'd I think say that's probably hot. quite hot. I think that's hot. I saw the Shrek, like, how... He, it's like, he looks like Shrek, the, the, oh, the but performer. Oh, tell him. Like. I don't know. I think I'm going to go not. No, I'm definitely I'm, I'm not really a fan of musicals. So really? I'm, I'm more I'm of a So you're telling me you don't want to see Shrek who or what? But Toy Story's not in the theatres. Yeah, let's just say stick with Shrek. We're sticking with Shrek. Hang on, you don't like music, but what about... Are you hot? I'm hot. Hang on, the song, the I song. I think it's hot. It's definitely if you just like, I'm all alone. There's no one here beside. Why, well, actually, yeah, that's film, hot. In that's the film, hot. That fits in with the story, My and they don't just walk along and break out into, I'm walking. They don't do that in the actual <laughs> film. 
in musicals, it does it for no reason, and it's just but the that's, most annoying. That's true. But, but you haven't seen any of Didn't you say that? to me that you like Shrek? Yeah, I like Shrek. She's getting the hot yeah, side. She's yeah, getting the hot side. I like Shrek. Carry on. You're gonna love the time up. That was the claxon. Oh, oh. Duh. I was winning as well. <laughs> Hi, my name's Izzy and I'm going to tell you my joke. How do you wake up Lady Gaga? Poker face. Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Download. This part of the show, I'm going to be telling you what movies to go see at the cinema, what are coming out on DVD and what are going to be on your TV sets. Now, the first film you should go see at the cinema is Rio. Now, Rio is a film based in Rio, which is in Brazil. First of all, you've got a bird who is blue, but he's a bird that can't fly. So these are one of the problems he has to face. It's a great film, and if you haven't had a chance to see it yet, I'd definitely go see it. It's amazing to watch. You can watch it in 3D. The colours, the cinematography, it's incredible. Now, the film that you should watch on DVD this week is Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Treader. This is also in the series of Chronicles of Narnia. I'm sure you all know that. Yeah! OK, now, Voyage of the Dawn Treader is a ship. It's a really cool pirate ship, which is pretty awesome. And it's about them trying to make Narnia the perfect place, but they face a few troubles on the way. You've got all your mythical creatures in there. You've got your minotaurs, your fawns. You've even got a dragon. Now, the older brother and sister aren't in this film, but they're not missed too much because a new character is introduced, which is their cousin. Let's take a look at the clip. Repeaty! Your Majesty. <laughs> Hello, Reap. What a pleasure. But the pleasure is all mine, sir. But first, what to do about this this hysterical interloper? That giant rat thing just tried to claw my face off! I was merely trying to expel the water from your lungs, sir. It's all... Did you see... Anyone just hear that? It's just talked! He always talks. Actually, it's getting him to shut up that's the trick. The moment there is nothing to be said, Your Highness, I promise you I will not say it. I don't know what kind of prank this is, but I want to wake up right now! Perhaps we could throw him back. I demand to know just where in the blazes am I? You're on the Dawn Treader, the finest ship in Narnia's Navy. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, here's the film that's on your TV sets next week. movie mistakes where we show you some mistakes that have been spotted in some of our favorite movies check them out one's at the ready in this clip from harry potter and the chamber of secrets the second film in the series enemies harry and draco malfoy are at each other again there's harry and draco dueling during their defense against the dark arts class watch carefully see if you spot the mistake See anything odd? Let's look again. What's the cameraman doing there? Yeah, maybe he attends Hogwarts as well. It's obvious when you watch it back again, isn't it? I said disarm only! Seven sort here! 
In Camp Rock, Mitchy Torres, an aspiring singer played by Demi Lovato, goes to Camp Rock to pursue her dream. There's Mitchy and her mum eating lunch. Look what I found in the crisper. A Camp Rock brochure. Or should I say another Camp Rock brochure? Hmm, look at that. <laughs> Oh, and great cheese omelet, by the way. You should definitely add that to your catering menu. Did you spot it? So you have no idea how this brochure got in there? Let's look again. Watch the brochure. Look what I found in the crisper. Mum has the brochure closed. In the next shot, she opens it, but then we see her open it again. Now she closes it and closes it again in the final shot. Spot that. You should definitely add that to your catering menu. So you have no idea how this brochure got in there? Or the one taped to the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> and finally, from the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz, it's one of my favorites, Dorothy and the Scarecrow are on their way to Oz and get in some trouble when they meet some angry trees. Let's take a look. There's the Scarecrow and Dorothy being attacked by apple trees. Did you spot that? Let's have another look. Keep an eye on her ruby slippers. Remember, she's been told by the good witch that she's never allowed to take them off. What black slip-ons? Now she'll never get home. I bet they didn't want us to spot that, did they? In the next Wizard of Oz clip, Dorothy, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Man are on the yellow brick road. The Tin Man then gets into a bit of a spot of bother. Take a closer look. Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right? I'm afraid I'm a little rusty yet. Oh, dear. Notice anything? Keep an eye on the oil can. Here it falls onto the yellow brick road. But there it is in the basket. Oh dear. On the road? In the basket. In the next clip, Dorothy, the scarecrow, the tin man, and the lion are met by a reluctant security guard in the Emerald City. Let's see if you can spot the error. Orders are! Nobody can see the great Oz, not nobody, not know how. But she's Dorothy. There we've got the friends pleading to the guard to let him see the wizard. Notice anything strange about the guard? Let's look at his moustache. It goes upwards. It goes downwards. That really is a bad hair day. Movie download complete. Okay guys, so every week I'm going to be taking you for a song and this week it's Jesse J Price Tag. The lyrics are on the screen, so let's start singing. Seems like everybody's got a price I wonder how they sleep at night When the tale comes first then the truth comes second Just stop for a minute and smile Why is everybody so serious? Acting so mysterious Got shades on your eyes Download complete.